let me guess you're a story developer that has huge ambitions of making it far in this space but there's just one tiny problem you're not sure what you're supposed to do you have the vision but you don't know how to make that into reality well don't worry bro i got you i'll provide you with the best roadmap to ensure your success as a developer or at least boost your chances as much as possible i feel like i'm talking too much we should probably start the video already right yeah. all right so first let's get the first thing out of the way i know you have a dream game but i'm gonna need you to forget about that dream game for a little bit okay no listen listen i know you want to make that game man but you don't realize the danger you're putting yourself in as a starter developer I'll ask you a couple of questions do you know any other developers that can help you with your project do you have a decent budget to pay other developers do you have previous experience as a game developer well man i'm sorry but if the answer to all of these three questions were no then well i'm just gonna say it. your game's gonna be trash but, 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 hold on, don't leave the video yet, damn, I saw you about to close the tab, you need to have some faith, alright, you gotta build yourself up, build your confidence as a developer, nah, but for real now, if you try to make your dream game, from the get go, you're gonna get frustrated and quit, that's just how it is, listen, I won't lie, you might need a solid two years of experience before you should even consider making an ambitious project like that, you're gonna have to put in the work day in, day out for two years, so yeah, tough days await you, my brother, but if you haven't hopped off this video yet, then, this means you're serious about this. So let's go to the second thing on our list. Make progress every day. Listen, most art developers fail at one thing when they're starting practicing a lot of them try to make projects after projects after projects not realizing that you also have to dedicate time specifically to practicing matter of fact practicing is all you should be doing for at least the first six months of your journey no projects just learning the basics of any skill whether it's animation or scripting or building or vfx whatever spend six months and just tell yourself i'm gonna get as good as possible in my skill for six months and then and only then you're gonna move to step three making your first decent sin project after you've been grinding for a while in your new skill it's time for you to make some sort of project where you use the majority of the things that you learned you have to pick something simple yet fun to make and you're gonna want to spend a while thinking about it but don't spend more than a week on this because at that point you're just overthinking it let's be honest the game that you make should not be made with the intention of making it popular or trying to make it successful this is just for you to build your confidence up which is what is going to keep you motivated through the whole journey and prevent you from quitting so build something you're proud of you're probably gonna spend like one to four months on this it's your first project after all this will also help you solidify your basis while also giving you a little bit more of experience if you do the math correctly that's seven to ten months right seven to ten months have passed and let's just go with the worst case scenario it's been ten months since you started and now you have a little project to show for it and that's awesome and this is not to say you didn't do any other mini projects before this one just to learn but this one's just the biggest one you've made so far and after this what do you do a lot of people might just say time to to make my next project but in my opinion that's a devastating mistake for Lulius, i want to make my dream game bro if you come talking to me about how you want to make your dream game one more time the hell are you talking about making a dream game come here okay i'm calm now i where were we right after you create your game you have to keep grinding you have to enter another period solely dedicated to learn stuff and listen this is what most devs do they make a serious project then they enter a period of learning then they do another serious project and then another period of learning and this is the key to growth as a developer you need to balance periods with learning with periods of serious project creation and by the time you've done this three times you'll be incredibly experienced there's no shortcuts you must have this very clear in your mind after you've done this a couple times you have met other developers content and creators as well probably you've made friends along the way and maybe now you can finally consider starting your dream game me personally i'd wait a little bit longer we don't care let me tell you right, <laughs> let me tell you something. we don't care Jerry. anyways man that's all i have for today bro i have a discord server with the weekly dev calls every saturday night so if you're interested in that then you know what to do it's the first link in the description this said keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace